Hello, in this video I'd like to talk about an example related to a social network. So imagine that we have people sending emails to each other. So I'm going to call this an email network. And in this network we have Anne, and Anne writes emails to Bob, and Bob writes emails back to, to Anne. Similarly, Bob writes an email to Kathy. Anne writes an email to David, and David writes an email to Kathy. But notice that there's no arrows coming out of Kathy. In other words, Kathy does not write any emails. So we could encode this information in a matrix, and I'm going to uh, organize my matrix as follows. I'm going to have from A, B, C, and D, and along the columns here I'm going to have two, so that's going to be A, B, C, and D. In other words, Anne does not send any emails to herself, so that's a zero. Anne does send an email to Bob, so we'll put a one there. Anne sends an email to Kathy, no that's not true, so that'll be a zero. And Anne does send an email to, Bob, to David. Similarly for Bob, he sends an email to Anne, not to himself, to Kathy, and not to David. Kathy sends no emails, and David only sends an email to Kathy. Okay. Okay, so I fast forwarded some of the calculations to square the matrix, and I want to talk about what this matrix gives us. So notice that in the row for Anne, column for Kathy, there are two paths of length two. So we have a path from Anne via David to Kathy, and then we also have a path from Anne via Bob to Kathy. Um, what else do we have here? Notice that we have a path of length two going from Bob to David. So where is that? Let's see, here's uh, Bob. So we could go Bob to Anne and then Anne to David. So there's a path of length two from Bob to David. So this A squared matrix gives us, let's write this down, A squared gives the number of paths of length two between person, I'll call them I, and person J, so in the row column. So let's take a look at MATLAB for a moment just to see how this would work. So I've loaded in matrix A. If we did A squared, there we have the number of paths of length two between the people. And if you wanted to know, you know, kind of how many friends are sitting out one uh, length away from a, a person, you could look at A. If you wanted to know the number of friends of friends, you could look at A squared. Hello. In this uh, example right now, I'd like to look at a very big matrix. So I've loaded a file into MATLAB, and let's just take a look at what the data um, structures are. So we've got a matrix A. It's a sparse matrix, and it's really big. It's 174,000 rows, uh, 174,970 rows by columns. So pretty big matrix. So if we want to look at just, you know, who um, are the friends sitting in row one? So let's say we have person one. We want to look at their friends. We could look at the entries in row one all columns, and we've got lots of, of entries here, um, more than we can really just handle by spitting them out here in the screen. You know, this what this data says is that person 1 is friends with person 27, and person 69, and person 154, and so forth. So if you want to know how many friends person 1 had, so let's say uh, number of friends of person one. That's a pretty long variable name, but you know, we get the idea. Um, you could go the number of non-zero entries in A, first row, all columns. Okay, and that gives you 28. And indeed, if you went here and you counted up the number of ones sitting in that first row, that would give you 28. Now let's say you want to look at A squared. I'm definitely going to suppress the 
output here and let's save a squared as some matrix called B. All right, now let's look at the friends of friends. So this, these are the people that are two links away from person one in the matrix. Again, pretty long list here, you know. We wouldn't want to sit and count through all of those, uh, you know, entries. But we could ask MATLAB to count it up for us. So we could say the number of non-zero entries in matrix B, row 1, all columns. And that gives us uh, 438. So in general, uh, your friends, there's a saying, so your friends have more friends than you do. It just simply is trying to say that, that usually your friends of friends are greater in number than just your friends because the, these networks tend to branch out um, and you always kind of get more people at each wave or each layer out in the network that you go.